Today we will study the touchdown zone marking. A touchdown zone marking shall be provided in the touchdown zone of a paved precision approach runway where the code number is 2, 3 or 4. Please do not forget to watch our next video that would be about aiming point marking because that is quite relevant to this as well. So moving ahead, the touchdown zone marking shall consist of pairs of rectangular markings symmetrically disposed about the runway center line with the number of pairs related to the landing distance available. For example, if the landing distance available is less than 900 meters, there would be only one pair of marking. But if it is up to 1200 meters, the marking pair would be two. If the landing distance available is up to 1500 meters, then there will be three pairs of marking. And if the landing distance available is up to 2400 meters, then the pairs of marking would be four. However, if the landing distance is 2400 meter or more, then there would be six pairs of marking in touchdown zone. Moreover, each strip of each marking shall be having a length of 22.5 meters and a width of 1.8 meters with a spacing of 1.5 meters between adjacent strips. The pairs shall be provided at longitudinal spacing of 150 meters from the threshold. I hope that is clear. Thank you.